everybody thanks for clicking on the video today I want to show you the studio fix tech cream to powder foundation all right guys so I am going to start I'm using NC 50 I just grabbed my kabuki brush and I'm gonna start application at the jawline I typically wear NW 45 with Mac products but they were out, so I just kind of blindly picked NC50. And so far, I actually like the color. Now, this foundation claims that it is long wearing for 12 hours, stays true to color for 12 hours. It's non caking, non fading, sweat and humidity resistant. Ding, 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 ding. Crease resistant, provides immediate and long term moisturization. It does not cause acne, and it is for all skin types. Now, for me, my skin type is dry, very dry. I also have texture on my skin. I have raised moles. I also have mature skin. And I was looking for a full coverage for the summertime that would not melt off my face. So when this said that it was sweat and humidity resistant, I had to give it a try. And I typically like MAC products. So... Um, and right now the application is very smooth. It actually, <clears throat> excuse me, it actually feels smooth and cool on the skin. And I just wanted to do one side of my face just to kind of show you the difference with the color and the coverage. It did cover my moles. And uh, so far, so good. I know a lot of people are not using MAC now, but um, it's tried and true to me. And it was one of the first foundations I wore over 15 years ago. So now I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer. Y'all, this concealer is very inexpensive. And I love the way it blends in with the foundation. I use the same brush that I applied the foundation. And I just love the way this blends in. It's just enough to kind of brighten the under eye. And that's what I typically like to do is use the same brush to apply my concealer as I apply the foundation. So that's blending in very well. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I had my TV on, which is why I decided to do a voiceover. So right now I'm looking for my powder. Well, my powder brush, I'm going to be using this paw print brush to apply the MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Powder. I think I grabbed a little bit too much for this side, but I love this brush. Uh, it's very soft, and it reminds me of a cat paw, so I call it the cat paw brush. But the MAC uh, Translucent Powder is great for setting the under eye. I know it's, it's white, but it really kind of blends in and smooths the under eye area. In fact, okay, that's that's nice. That's really nice. Still a little bit too much on this side, but in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face with this translucent powder using this brush, and it's gonna take me a while, so um, you guys just bear with me. All right, so I popped on some bronzer. I just love the bronzing process, beautiful. And now I popped on some lipstick and my hoop earrings. Um, I'm loving the look. I'm loving the look with my yellow eyeshadow. And uh, I think the makeup application, it did well. 
So now for my final thoughts on this foundation. Okay, y'all, this is your wedding day, red carpet, bright lights, on set, photo shoot, high flash photography, don't move all day foundation. Y'all, I put this foundation on at 9 a.m. I wore it all day out in the sun. I washed it off at 9 p.m. It was still in place like I had just applied it. As far as its claims, it is very lightweight and sweat and heat resistant. I sweat anytime the temps rise above 70 degrees. Today was 83 degrees and I purposely sat directly in the sun, in the sun to see what would happen. Y'all, not one bead of sweat touched my face. In fact, my face felt light and cool. I was really pleased and actually amazed. So if you are looking for a summertime foundation but still want full coverage without your face melting off, please give Matt a try. That's it for today. Thank you for tuning in. Please come back for my next foundation review. Bye.